Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, subscribe and join the Reese Life Dad Life family. Today we're going to be out on the Salamone River checking out a brand new stretch of water that we haven't for a while and maybe something else at the end to kind of spruce things up. So follow along and see how we do. You okay? All right, there's some poison ivy. Remember to check out our poison ivy video to help avoid clean and treat poison ivy. So if you're outdoors and get allergic to poison ivy, be careful. Is that yeah, that is right there. Right here? Yep. So we gotta be careful, okay? It's a little murky, but pretty clear. That's a good sign. Right there. Oh, there it is. Now I just have to get it down. A bone whopper flopper. A bone whopper flopper stuck in a tree. Here, can you hold my pole? Don't stick that pole up there, Reese. You'll get it stuck. Here, hold my pole and keep the everything out of the water. Should be able to get him out. I got the line. Boy, I broke a lot of line off. Huh? I said, boy, I broke a lot of line off. Water plopper! Yep. Did you say water plopper? Well, I said whooper plopper. <laughs> I said whooper plopper. All right, dude. Whooper, whooper. Sorry I left you out here for a couple days. Be tormented by the bugs, but you and I are back in action again, little feller. Water here. Yeah, just a little murky. Throw your bait right over. Oh, Daddy just had a bite. Yep. Oh, from what? Oh, there you go. Daddy got one. What did you get? I don't know. <laughs> that is beautiful pumpkin seed action up there. It's the most ridiculous pumpkin seed, but the cutest little fish I've ever seen. <laughs> Oh, now I got something. What'd I get? Oh, a different. This is more like a bluegill than a pumpkin seed. Huh. More like a pond fish. Oh, fish on. Maybe it's our first bass. We can hope. Nope, still not a bass. Just a way, hey, that's the biggest pumpkin seed of the day though. Look, Grease, look how orange it is. Oh, Daddy got another one. <laughs> oh, well that's a different sized one. Oh, what was that? That wasn't a bass. Those are some sort of carp. Swimming by us. Oh, got something. Another bluegill. Got another little pump. Nope, pumpkin seed. Nope, not a pumpkin seed. Well, something. Yeah, it is kind of pumpkin seedish. And here's the fishing joke of the day. How does a fish get to place the place on a golf course? On a golf carp. <laughs> Back to the action. That's all we All right, I caught this little beauty. I know it's a beast. Oh, Daddy got one. Daddy got something. Oh, big creek chub. I think creek chubs like the creek crawl. Got him? Yep. What is it? Nope. Creek chub. Big creek chub. <laughs> oh, got one. Big old creek chub. What? Oh, crap. Oh. Holy. 
<laughs> Whoa, is my camera going? Yeah, freaking yeah it is. Uh, let's get away from that tree. <laughs> Holy crap. I just heard cracking and I'm like, huh, oh, branch must be cracking. I didn't know it was that big until I heard it fall. I'm like, oh my gosh. I can't believe that we got to see that. Pumpkin seed. Oh, I thought you said Man, oh, 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 let that big creek chub get you. Yes! <laughs> Atta boy. You creek chub that tree chub. Tor I creek, creek. you. Creek. So we decided after catching several pumpkin seeds and some creek chubs and some other fish that we weren't seeing any smallmouth action, any potential there. So we headed out and went to an area that we had a little bit more confidence in bass fishing, and let's see what we do once we get there. You have to at least get a bite. Oh, got him. Yes, it is a bass, a largey. Is it recording? Uh, yeah. I actually caught a bass. <laughs> Not a perfect cast, I was gonna try. Thank you. Uh, oh, I got something. You got something too? What did you get? Ah, a little bunker. Well, you're not carrying a sharpened stick with you. You're not carrying a sharpened stick any. Whoa! Oh no, get it! Dang it! That was a good bass. Oh, whoa! Dang it! That was a big fish. Oh my gosh. Reese, did you see that? Reese, did you see that? Yeah. That had to be like a three pounder. Holy crap. I'm gonna get this fish. I don't know why he didn't bite earlier. That fish should have had it. He wrapped it. been a while since I've had a super aggressive hit like that. It's a really large fish. I have heart for hands. You have what? Oh. Oh no! He bumped it out of the water. It's a nice bass. He hit it. He popped it out of the water with his mouth. How can one fish not get this in his mouth? I don't have a 90 to put on or rat Zilla bait, so it's. Oh, there we go. I got him. Oh, it's a big small mouth. Are you getting this one? You getting this one? You need to help me. Um, right now is a good time to grab it. There oh, you go. Geez. Yeah, this is a good smallmouth bass. Oh my gosh. I'm getting up to land. No, no, no. Stay right here. I won't He's be able right to help here. you very good. He's right here. He's right here. He's, stay over here with me. Go, go. All right. All right. There we go. That's a fish worthy of fishing. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah let's. Yep. Got him right by the side of the jaw. We'll take it. Pop that hook out. Barely hooked. Here, hold him up. Nice. All right, let's let him go. Good topwater bite. Ready for the RLD old fall. Look topwater at that, bass. Guys. Yep, beautiful fish. That is a beautiful fish. Yeah, it is. Nice. We'll let him go. Ow, 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 ow. He's chowing <laughs> He's that. Chewing. He was chewing on you. Well, let's see if there's another one in here. Maybe there was a little school of them. Oh, got him. This one's mine. Oh, a decent, not a big one, but. You got this one? Yep. Another one. Um, a bat? Yeah, two bats in a row. 
Yes. Yes, we will. I only got some smallmouth action. There we go. Pretty fish. Let's let him go. Two, all of a sudden. Top water heating up as the day moves on. Wow, what a day. It was fun to discover a new section of a river that we know and learn that not the whole area has smallmouth bass in it, but we had a lot of fun time fishing and catching those pumpkin seeds and uh, creek chubs on top water and on little crankbaits and rooster tails. That was a lot of fun. Um, and then getting that top water action for smallmouth bass at the end was just a way to finish up a great day of fishing. So if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. Check out Dad Life Fishing Adventures as well, as well as A Fisher of Men, our Bible study. And pound that like button. Drop us a comment because we love hearing from you. And check these videos at the end for some more Reese Life Dad Life fun. Mm -hmm.